Hello, my name is Wendy Loomis, and I am a composer pianist for the group Phoenix Rising. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our new CD. This is our fourth CD, which is wonderful and amazing, and the title is Emerging Slowly. The concept of this CD is similar to the other ones in that there will be gorgeous piano and flute combinations, but we're expanding ourselves to add some other items that will grow it into a little bit different way. Um, this includes using of effects, uh, there's some pedaling effects uh, that will be used on many different flutes, as well as a little more electronics with keyboards, um, some more percussion elements, so that the new age essence is still there and there will still be all those lovely sweet acoustic pieces, but we will have some other things combined. The reason for this, I think, is that this particular CD, we're going to the origin of what Phoenix Rising is. And the, it comes from the Greek mythology, many of you might know, where the phoenix was a bird that allegedly rose out of the ashes and emerged itself stronger and more powerful, and then would die and be born again in an even higher evolution. So depending on which version you read, some say that it was a very violent process and really fast and glorious and spectacular and red and fiery, which is one version. But then there's some other versions that talk about a much quieter, uh, blue-based colors, a slower process of evolving. And so that's what this one is more concentrating on, is that there are many different ways to transform ourselves and musically, spiritually, and this concentrates a little more on that slow process of developing yourself. So as you listen, you will also hopefully go along on this positive journey with us, which is always moving toward a higher version of the self and then a higher version of what is our world. Monica and I love to create these pieces together. Usually the way it works is that I perceive some musical lines, some structural rhythmic areas, and then Monica in her amazing way takes her flutes and creates lines that work uh, in conjunction in, in and around and through the original idea. And so the arrangement comes then, becomes very collaborative and beautiful, and we hope that you'll really enjoy it. Uh, so without too much further ado, I want to introduce Monica Williams, flutist, and she's going to um, give you some little tidbits and then talk about perks and later there'll be some flute demonstrations. So thank you for your time. Hope that you will contribute to us. Hi, I am Monica Williams, flutist of Phoenix Rising. I just wanted to take some time and say thank you for watching this far. Um, and I'm going to play a little bit of each of the flutes so that you can get a sample of each of the different sounds, um, both the visual and the audio sound of each flute. Um, we are going to donate 50 CDs to this organization called Women Inc. It is an organization that helps Bay Area um, domestic abuse survivors through some tough times. In addition to those 50 CDs, we're going to be donating one more CD for every single contribution we receive, and they'll get them um, after the, the new year. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of each of the different flutes that are available as a perk for the next CD, Emerging Slowly. All of the Native American flutes are six holes, and you can make a sound easily by blowing right into the end piece. It also comes with a book and a DVD that will show you the various scales that you can play, as well as some simple songs that you can learn right away. I oftentimes get asked what kind of songs you can play with the Native American flutes. Um, and my answer is just a little bit of everything. It's often used in a new age and of course world, but you can also play folk tunes and even some Christmas music. So I thought today what I would do is give a little bit of a sample of the different sounds of the flutes with Christmas music. We also this year have a pay it forward part of the program. This is a part of the program in which um, you can purchase a flute for a student within the Bay Area who might not have the opportunity to own a Native American flute. 
So we're working with organizations to help us identify those students and they would get a flute for Christmas. Um, so that's part of the Pay It Forward program. If you have any questions, I'm always available. You can email me or give me a call. Enjoy the presentation and the sounds of the flute. This little flute here is called the pocket flute. It's in G minor. It's great for smaller children and it's really easy to cover the holes because they're small. It's high pitched, kind of like the piccolo would be of the flute choir. This next flute is the Sparrow Hawk. It is in the key of A minor, and you can see that it has a nice bird on the mouthpiece here. Um, this is, makes a nice, warm, mellow sound, and it's great for students, I would say ages about 12, maybe 11, 10, and up. Um, you can cover the holes easily, they're not too large, and it has a nice hand span here. This next flute here I'm going to play is the double sparrow hawk and this is the exact same flute that I played just before except there's another bore to this and what it allows us to do is play one of the melody lines and kind of a harmony line so it'll sound like a duet so to illustrate this I'll play the exact same thing I did previously but this time with the melody and the harmony. This is the golden eagle flute in the key of F sharp, and it sounds like this. This is the condor bass in E minor. It has a beautiful haunting tone to it, and it goes great with guitar. This next flute here is very long. It's called the contrabass flute and it's an A minor as well. It's definitely for larger hands and people that have been playing the Native American flute maybe previously to it. This isn't a great starter instrument but it's a beautiful sound. <laughs> This flute is a Egyptian flute and it's a spirit flute um, and it has a very interesting harmonic minor scale so it sounds very Egyptian. This is the Egyptian flute. flute that we have and this the on the campaign you can see it has a Japanese symbol right here um, it has a pentatonic scale as well and a lovely tone um, you make the sound just by blowing directly into this hole you don't have to form any type of special embouchure you makes the sound right away just by blowing into it like the Native American flutes One of the 
the perks that I'm really excited about is the Fluter Scooter Bag. I own one and love it. It functions just like a purse. You can sling it right over your shoulder. And it protects the flute very well, as well as keep has a nice little pouch for any cleaning supplies. And I actually even put a wallet in it and can carry it around just as a purse like this. Um, it's great. It's very sturdy. It will last years and years. And it's available in lilac, silver, blue, and canvas. Hello. I just would like to demonstrate a little bit on these Native American drums. These are beautiful drums that Monica and I purchased that are handmade and then were painted with various pictures on the front that are totems, uh, which is the Native American symbol of something natural, usually an animal or else a scene of nature. Very simple to play. Um, the striking of the drum happens right in the center. One beat be heavier and then lighter beats will just make a, a lovely sound, a resonant sound on the edge. So these, this is part of what we are having in our list of various perks and they work really well with the Native American flutes. I'm just going to show you the other ones that we have available. Here you have the hawk, spirit hawk. Here is a lovely dolphin, very happy one. You notice that the sound is slightly different. Each one has a slightly different sound, even though they're constructed the same. But because this is natural skin, it's an animal skin, there will be different resonance that will be on each one.